So we want to calculate the speed of a satellite in orbit. And really quickly, I just want to derive the equation that governs this motion. And so the basic idea here is that in order for this satellite to be going in a circular motion, there needs to be some centripetal force on it. And the centripetal force, in order to maintain the motion, needs to be equal to m v squared over r, where m is the mass of the object that's moving, v is its velocity, and r is the radius of its orbit. And in the case of a satellite around Earth, this centripetal force is provided by gravity. So this is a gravitational force between the satellite and the Earth. Uh, that's supposed to be a G. Um, and so the gravitational force between these two objects, the Earth and the satellite, is going to be equal to G, the gravitational constant, times M, the mass of the Earth, times small m, the mass of the satellite, all over r squared, where r is, again, the distance between their centers, so the radius of the path that the satellite is traveling. And so these two things need to be equal to each other. And so what we can do is we can equate them. And so if m v squared over r has to equal g times m times m, over r squared, we can now solve for v. So first thing we can do is we can multiply both sides by r. And when we do that, we'll cancel out this one with the squared there. And we can also divide both sides by m, the mass of the satellite. So what you notice is the mass of the satellite actually cancels out and ends up not being important to this problem, which is good because we're not given the mass of the satellite in the problem. And so then the last thing that we have to do is simply take the square root of both sides, and we see that the velocity of the satellite is going to be the square root of g, the gravitational constant, times m, the mass of the planet it's orbiting around, in this case Earth, and then divided by r. And so now we can plug in. So we know that g, the gravitational constant, is equal to 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11th, and the units on that are cubic meters per kilogram second squared. We know that the mass of the Earth, which is given to us in the problem, is 5.98 8 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. And now you have to be careful with R. So R, in this case, the radius of the orbit is actually going to be equal to the radius of the Earth plus the height of the orbit, right? Radius of the Earth right here, and then the height of your orbit would be right here. And so 299 kilometers is the same as 2.99 uh, or 0.299 times 10 to the sixth meters. And so if we add these together, you should get your total radius of orbit to be 6.679 times 10 to the sixth meters. And so if you plug all of these into the equation and solve now for V, you should get a final answer of V to be approximately 7,730 meters per second. And there you go. So hope that was helpful.